Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. In today's video, we'll look at how we can create extrude text effect in Adobe Illustrator. We'll be creating our two uh, extrude text effect design in this tutorial. For the first design, we'll create our vertical extrude text effect and then apply a nice halftone effect to it. For the second design, we'll create out this horizontal extrude text effect with a nice perspective depth and then later we'll apply a nice noise grain effect to it. In the previous video, we have seen how you can create steps text effect using Photoshop and Adobe illustrator we have used vanishing point and 3d rotate option to create out the effect in this tutorial we'll be creating out this extra text effect using very simple techniques so let's begin with the designing process so to create out this first design uh, we will be using Adobe illustrator so let's open a new illustrator document so open a new illustrator document and now uh, we'll be uh, creating this design so for the first design what you need to do is we need to uh, type out your text so uh, for this if you check it out you can see we have created a text then we had applied the extrude effect and then we have applied this um, half tone effect and then I did some adjustment with the contrast value so let's do it so first thing we're gonna do is to type out the text so let's select the text tool and type out your font C and I'm gonna use this F and X font and I'm gonna use a heavy font here and let's change the font color to white now let's uh, apply the extrude effects so for that go to effect 3d extrude and bevel and here preview it and it's applied now we need this uh, perspective angle and it's very easy to get this you just go to the positions and just choose the isometric uh, value so isometric left isometric top and this is the angle we want for this design and you can just rotate it here as well or you can just click ok and now if you rotate the text like this you can give a nice uh, angle to it like something like that so just rotate it to get this angle so just rotating it and trying to get that angle and I think this is the angle we want for this design and now let's increase the depth and for that i'll go to appearance so to open the appearance panel go to windows and click on appearance and here it is or you can use this icon to open the appearance panel here click on 3d extreme bubble option preview it and here let's increase the depth so i'll increase the depth around let's say 240 and click ok so this is the uh, size before we go further let me show you the artboard size so if i click on artboard you can see our artboard size width and height that is uh, around 700 by uh, 450 pixels. I'm working on an artboard size of uh, 800 by 450 pixel and this is the artboard size. So whatever value I'm putting in, it's a uh, proportion to the artboard size. If my artboard size would be bigger, my values or my adjustment values will be differing. So while working this, make sure that you are approximately getting this uh, artboard size so when you are doing it my file new open set the artboard size around this much like 800 by around 500 or 600 just to make sure that you got this uh, artboard size and then click ok and you'll be able to uh, apply the same values I'm applying in this tutorial so this is the first text now uh, let's say you want to create these texts and uh, the rest is so simple you have to just create a duplicate it right and then just double click on it uh, select the text and just type E and here it is and to uh, rotate this angle just rotate the font you can do it so easily the third text let's type it out O and do some rotation to it so I'm gonna rotate it to around this much giving some angle to it and I'll just place this here next uh, this one I'll just create a duplicate to double click on it select the font type this and we'll do the same for the others double click select just type this one i'll just create one more duplicate place it somewhere around here do some little uh, rotation to the angle something like this just to make give this uh shape okay and i'll create one more duplicate and let's just uh rotate the angle something like this and just do some adjustments with the rotation click and do the rotation manually and I think this is okay. okay. Now let's do the arrangement. So the arrangement is very simple. Select these two and assign to back. So for that, click on command or control. Okay. For Mac command or Windows control. And then click on open square bracket to send it to back. And for example, this one, you want to send it back. Again, command pressed open square bracket. And this will send. And if it's on the back, close square bracket. 
command press close square bracket and you can bring it to front and that's way we can do the arrangement i'll place this somewhere around here this one around here let's do proper arrangement so overall i'm just doing some random arrangement and once you're done uh i'm going to reduce some height here let's reduce this one height go to extreme babel preview and reduce the height i'm just adjusting, reducing the extra depth and you can adjust the height and click ok and after that just uh do the placement properment and here is fine this one i'm going to reduce a little bit so double click on it I'll preview reduce the height a little bit click ok and just do some placement of the position and overall i think this is looking great so this is the design now next thing we're going to do is to apply this pattern this is half tone effect so i'm going to select everything right select all the text just to see if it's selected and then group them up command or control g and once you have grouped the text just select them and go to effect texture and here choose any of the effect and after that you get this uh window over here go to sketches and click on half tone pattern and here you can see you can preview, see the preview over here i just zoom it out a little bit and this is the uh, half tone effect we have applied so for this i'm going to choose some size so let's choose a size for this design and for this as you can see we have given some uh, visible uh, pattern so i'm going to uh, increase the size to around two or maybe three let's check out three just keep it three just to see this visibility so and then uh, to adjust the contrast uh, you can adjust this contrast slider use the slider to give a depth nice depth so i'm going to give it around 15 okay and then click okay so we have given some dark tone to it and as you can see the color doesn't match now so what we're going to do next is select this and expand this first so object expand appearance and now once we have expanded it let's adjust the color do the color adjustment so for that we'll go to edit edit colors and adjust color balance and here just uh, preview it first check convert and over here instead of rgb to grayscale as our artwork is in grayscale and let's uh, reduce the black value so here you can see i'm reducing the black uh, value over here so i'm just making sure it's a little brighter compared to this i'm making it similar to it so i'm keeping it around 28 right and then click ok so as you can see it's a little similar to it now i'm going to add a contrast and to do that i'll again go to uh, effect texture grains and under grains you can see this uh, grain type so here choose contrasty okay set the intensity to zero because it will add uh, this uh, noise to it so i'm going to reduce the grain and then we'll adjust the contrast value so let's zoom it out a little bit and if you adjust the contrast this is our normal contrast so i'm going to add a little contrast to it just to make sure it's similar to this so a bit darkness and then click ok so here we go if you zoom it in you can see we have applied that nice half tone effect and then we have adjusted the contrast value using some very simple steps so we have used edit color option that's adjust bri color brightness and then we have used the uh, texture options where we have used the grains and the uh, half tone effect so in that way we have applied a nice half tone to your perspective text using the extreme bubble option now the next uh, design we're going to create is this and as you can see it's very simple to create uh, we will be using the same tools but in a different way so let's do it so first thing type out your text and okay and then let's ch uh, change the color to white and here it is and for this i'm going to use this my right pro font this one okay and i'm going to use this font because it's a little longer so i need a little uh, longer font for this design so i'm choosing this and i'm going to uh, keep it to semi bold little thick and now let's apply the extrude effect so let's select the text and go to effect 3d extreme bubble option and here preview it and to apply this angle it's very simple just go there and click isometric right or maybe this one for this one i'm going to use isometric left and then just click and drag it up a little bit just to give this angle and then click ok so here it is we have given that angle and now um let's increase the depth so again go to three extra variable option preview and let's increase the depth something around uh, you can see we need this much depth so i'm going to give around 180 and then click ok so now once you have given this a uh, depth to it let's uh, create a duplicate of it so with the all press click and drag and drag it down and double click on it change the font 
similar to that previous one you can now give any font you like so i'm just give all giving all the uh, font i need new and then uh, two uh, arrows so just double click on it and it is this and for this i'm going to give uh, this one for this one i'm going to give this a bold one just to give that thickness and as you can see we have given that nice extra text to it and just uh, do some little adjustments like placement a little bit and now let's uh, create this effect so first thing we're going to do is to select this all and group them up command control g then select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle on top of it and that will give it around this much so this is the thickness i want for my design that's why i'm giving this much only and now select this this and make clipping mask so here it is and now let's expand it object expand appearance okay and then select this and go to pathfinder and click on trim and this will trim out this section only and now we'll uh, create a reflect so this we're going to use the reflect tool double click on it and uh, as you can see it's horizontally or vertically so we want a vertical reflect and then create a copy of it and now with the shift press and the arrow key i'm going to move it on the other side and zoom it in and just match the edges so i'm just drag it in and match it over here something like that and here it is we have created this nice perspective extrude text effect uh, very easily now let's do the color adjustments and it's manual so we have to uh, select everything and ungroup it first and then now we have to manually select all these pieces so for the top surfaces i have given dark color so let's select all the top surfaces okay like this 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 so i'm going to select all the top surfaces with a shift pressed and click 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 and then apply this dark color so i pick a click and apply some dark color now for this uh, front surfaces we want to do the same so select the front surfaces now select them all with a shift pressed click 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 not this one this this and this 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 so these are all the front facing surfaces right and now for that i'm going to apply this color so select them and just apply this color and if you think, uh, if you feel like it's a little darker you can just i uh, just go to the color and just make it a little light or something like that now let's go to the inner surfaces and here the inner surfaces are dark color so let's go in there and as you can see the inner surfaces are little uh, like uh, not connected so i'm going to select this this and this and then unite them in the same way here as well this 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 unite them make sure if you find any uh, surface which has got different section of surfaces just select them all and unite them just to make sure it's one object here also it's in three sections so just select them with the shift pressed individually and then unite them okay uh, here it's one surface for w also we need to do some uh, like unification so uh, this step it might differ as per your fonts for this font it has divided the surfaces into different sections but in some fonts uh, these surfaces will remain as it is like one object so just make sure that these surfaces are single object and if it's not you have to do it manually combine them now let's uh, select these uh, inner surfaces so select this 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 surface this surface let's go for here as well this one inner surfaces on the other side as well this surface and this surface and let's apply this dark color so with the eyedropper tool i just pick this dark color now let's select the other surfaces this one so we need to select this okay this and this and let's apply this color little dark gray little lighter tool okay and here it is now let's uh, apply these uh, text so select this surfaces okay and for this one we're going to apply a gradient color to it so select them all and we'll go over here and apply this gradient color gradient click and here it is and now using the gradient tool okay select this g and i'm going to apply this so i'm going to change the direction so click and drag and just make sure you're giving that nice look to your design brightness to darker something like that we'll do the same for this as well so for this one we need to give some brighter one 
so let's keep it some brighter for w we need a uh, dark to bright so this is fine for this one g and then let's give it brighter color something like that okay now we'll go to the other side as well so like this and this g and just make sure you're giving that darker shade on the bottom little bottom and brighter on the top select this w and on this side i'm going to give brighter color so let's give it a brighter tone something like that this one little darker as it is bright this one we're going to give darker color so let's give it dark shade something deeper this one brighter so let's do it something like that and now let's look at the design and it's looking amazing now let's do the arrangement so first of all i'm going to group this up so select this and group them up come on or control g then we'll select the w as well and group them up in the same way we'll select e and command g and deselect this one command g so everything is now in group now we'll let's do the arrangement so i'm going to select this and this and move it on the right side shift press and arrow and moving on the right side something like this okay and we're going to do the arrangement so uh this one should be on top arrange to front then e should be on top of w so arrange it to front and then n it should be on top so arrange it to front so this way we have arranged it now let's do some arrangement with the spacing as well so i'm going to select this and just move it a little bit down or up and uh, this much for w and n a little bit down and a little bit this side as well so overall i think the placement is done nicely and now final thing list the text so I'm going to just create, select this, come on, control C, come on, control V, and just place it somewhere around here. So this is how we have created this extrude text effect uh, using very simple techniques. We have used a uh, 3D extrude bubble option, and we have used some other options such as uh, texture, and then we have edited the color using the uh, edit color options. And for this design, we have used the reflect tool to get the uh, reflection effect. And we have created this nice perspective look to the design. In the next tutorial, we're going to work on some amazing graphic design where we'll explore some amazing techniques to create out those effects. So far, we have created some amazing text effects series uh, in the past one month. And if you haven't checked out those tutorials, you'll find the link in the description. Also, I have created a playlist for uh, text effect tutorials. So I'm going to share the playlist as well. So please do go and check out the playlist because it contains all the tutorials I have created until now. So don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.